All right, tech fans, YouTubers, and video heads from around the world, it's time for SLI with the GTX 1080 Ti. That's right, rhymes even. Now this time, we've taken 25 games and we've tested them all to see how SLI scales with this a mass amount of games. I wanna tell you guys right off the bat that the scaling is pretty good in the games, but however, how well it scales, uh, that's a little bit iffy. Although 14 of the games scale, not all of them scale very well. We'll talk a little bit about that later on in the video, but with that said, let's first check out our test system. If you guys follow the channel, you guys know this test system. We've used it in quite a few videos through, I think, like the last six months. We're getting ready to change it up, though, to something different, but for now, this is the same test system that we've been using. Hopefully, though, you fans out there find this a well-balanced system that's not too expensive or not too cheap to be right in that fine pocket for gamers out there. I figured a system that was right in the middle of the road was the best way to go. We're still using NVIDIA Driver 378.78. We're also using the latest edition of Windows 10. It's patched. All the drivers and everything on the system are the latest and greatest that you can get your hands on. So with that said, it's time to rock. You guys can see that the way the card scales is very kind of erratic. There are some games that score very, very well, others that score kind of poorly. Now, Tomb Raider, if you're a fan of that game, you guys can see that that game kicks serious ass. You get amazing frame rates when you do SLI with this game. There are also a few other games in DirectX 12 that do this as well. Out of the nine games that we tested in DirectX 12, three of them scaled very, very well. Now, I know a lot of you guys are wondering out there, well, hey, Elric, man, how hot was this running? Well, no higher than 85 Celsius under full load. And what's really interesting, I think, is that the back panel is removable. We have a shot of us taking the back panel off here from other video, and we also have a shot of it running in the system. This actually helps the cards to run a lot cooler and why we're probably seeing actually cooler scores in SLI than we were the single card performance. All right, folks, so there you have it, the goodness of SLI with the GTX 1080 Ti. Once again, that shit rhymes, right on. All right, so here's my opinion about this. Honestly, a lot of people out there don't have the $700 to chuckle out for one card. 
much less another $700 to chuckle out for a second card. And with the way that the games perform being kind of erratic, unless you're a person you've seen in our scores and you know that your card is going to kick ass in the game that you want to play, I think I'd save my money and stick to one card. Now there are some exceptions. If you're a person out there who's just a hardcore gamer, you've got a shit ton of games in your library, you know that you're going to have better results because you guys can see 14 out of 25 scale, so that's better than half. So if you have a mass library, you know, and say you have 100 games, well then you can probably be sure that probably 60 of those games are going to scale well. So if you're that person, then yeah. SLI is definitely for you. If you don't have the cash, I know it's a bummer, but for you, that'd be worth it. But for most people out there, getting the absolute best 10 ATI you can get your hands on, getting a nice liquid overclocked one, that's your best bet, especially if you're not gonna be having a shit ton of games. Unless, like I said, you know that game's going to work. Like if you're a Tomb Raider fan and you want Tomb Raider just totally kick ass on everybody on your block, then damn skip skippy, you want to get yourself an SLI setup in 10 ATI. But if you only got like four or five games and out of those four or five games, only one of those games really scales for you, then why waste your money? At that point, it becomes like I've said many times, a dick wagon contest. So you can just tell people, oh, yeah, you know, I've got two cards. So down in the comments when you don't look like a schmarmy little fuck, you can go, yeah, I've got two cards, but I'm not into that at all. I'm into what's best for you guys. So my bottom line is this if you have a mass amount of games and you've got the money SLI good only few games not a lot of money SLI bad if you can tell me what video that comes from that I just did I'll send you something nice in the mail just tell me what video that is and what band I'm talking about when I do that thing I'm Elric you guys have been watching Tekken tomorrow hope you guys enjoyed the video down below that like button we'll have links where you get more information about this card also special shout out to my friend Mark over at Battletech Reviews if you guys want to check out a different video from a different perspective make sure you guys check out his written review over on his site Battletech Review we'll have a link to that down below as well we'll see you guys back here on Tekken tomorrow we've got overclocking coming up and then we've got all kinds of rise and coming stuff right Ryzen and SLI, Ryzen and Crossfire, Ryzen, Ryzen. It's fucking Ryzen.